Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can add connection points to pictures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some pictures in PowerPoint and then just copy and paste them into Visio because the options you've got there are a bit limited and I don't want to go online and start looking for lots of different images. So I'm going to go into PowerPoint and then just use the insert pictures from stock images into PowerPoint and then I'm just going to grab a couple of pictures so you can see what I mean. So if I go for a person, he'll do. And let's go for some, let's go for that one first. And then I'll go for a piece of machinery or something like that or a car engine. And just to show you how that works. So that's downloading that picture and then there he is. I don't want it that big so I'll just make it a little bit smaller. Get myself another picture. Insert picture. Stock images. This time I'll search for engine. See if there's any engines come up. No. Um, let's try. Oh, I typed it wrong didn't I? Engine. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's have a look. This one, I suppose, would be okay for what I want to do. Just insert that. So you get your images in into PowerPoint or wherever you've got your images. You might already have them on the computer. You can bring them in, but I've just brought these two pictures. And then I'm just going to select them both and then copy them both. So I just held my control key down to do that and then copy get myself back into Visio, paste paste those two pictures in Visio. I'm on the basic diagram so there's not a big issue with scaling but let's just um, see how that works. Okay well there's a mistake straight away, I don't want them, I don't want them as one image so I'm just going to de delete that and bring them in individually. So click off that, copy that one into Visio, paste that into Visio and then do the same for the other one. So I don't want them as separate. I could have ungrouped them, I suppose. You always think of these things afterwards. So then I've got two images, and I'll just make these a little bit smaller still. In fact, I'm gonna crop this one, so I'm just gonna get rid of some of the background around the edge of this guy. So I'll just bring him in a bit, so it's easier to use the connections on him, like so. and just move him around in the middle, that'll do. So now it's quite small, make it a little bit bigger. That'll do, perfect. Now this one looks okay, like so. Now, when you use a connection tool in Visio, you've got shape-to-shape -shape features that are available, like so. So if I take that off a minute, so this now will do a shape-to-shape -shape connection which basically means wherever I put this picture, it will always connect round to the shortest point, shape to shape. And just to recap, if I just do the other one for you, point to point. So that was a shape to shape. And to get a shape to shape, you basically go from a green selection away from these connection points to another green selection away from the connection points. Glue to shape, it says there. And then click on the pointer tool. Just move these around and it will always go to the shortest distance between the two or whichever is easiest for it to do as it does there. Now to do a point to point connection, if I just delete that one, get rid, you have to do it to where it says on the tin, a point to point. So you have to sort of go from one point. So if I go from that point to that point, there, connection point, you see the difference? Glue to shape glue to connection point that's what i want so now if i go back to the pointer tool and start moving these around it will always be to that connection point and it's not resizing itself i mean the direction of the arrow might change not the direction the the way it wraps itself around but it's always going to that point the original point point to point like so and then you can line it up now obviously on this one there is no points Oh, there are no points on these two pictures, and that's what I want to do. I want to see if I can do that. 
So to add a connection point to a, a picture, you need to use this little cross, this connection point tool. You click on that, and then you hover to where you want the connection point, and then to activate it, you need to hold your control key down, and you get this little symbol, and then you can click on, click on him where you want the connection, like so, so on top of his head, and let's go for this nut here. So I've still got my control key down, and then I'll put it on there. I missed slightly. It doesn't matter, that'll do. So now I've got two connection points on there, and if I move these pictures, these should stay with it. Now if I go back onto that point or two, I'll move this one. That one has moved, so that's not great. So I'll just click this back on so I can see that. So I'll just delete that one and do that one again. Let's just get the control key down. Get it onto that little dot. In fact, before I do that, I need to click on the picture. That's probably why. Control key. And then click. There she blows. Take the pointer tool off. Now, if I go to the connector now and go... To that connection that I've just done there I should be able to go to this connection there not shape to shape so that's glued and then go back to the pointer tool and then let's see if it works so I didn't want this to come off his head and it's not coming off his head so that's okay that's worked that's worked fine and on this one that's also worked fine so sometimes, like the first time I did this, you have to play around with the connection tool because it didn't stick. And I think that was because I didn't have the, the shape highlighted when I was doing it. So that's how you connect up to non-visual shapes. If you're bringing photographs in or images in like an engine, um, you want to connect that engine to maybe a, one of these. So if I wanted this to go onto that connection point as well, now this is connected to that, and then you maybe want to type in some information in there, um, like a comment that this screw is important and stuff like that. So you're using um, Visio there to just highlight different parts of an engine. And if I want to do it again, I'd have to create another connection tool. So click on the picture, click the click connection tool. Let's say you want another one on that screw there, that bolt. Just get it to the end of there, click and then click on the pointer tool, then get the connector. Come from wherever you want to come from, one point to another point. And then you've got that as well. So this could be some more narrative about that particular bolt unit. And again, that should stick. And if I move this, they do stick. So that's just a very quick video of how to add connection points to images that you've brought in from another program or downloaded off the internet. So hopefully you found that useful. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.